almost time to go home. I am still not sure how to explain the difference between nucleation mechanisms for displacive and reconstructive transformations. Let me see. Classical nucleation occurs when a random fluctuation of atoms happens to be in the correct configuration. I guess the chance event is driven by thermal agitation. Yes, I think that is right. This mechanism is unnatural for diffusional transformations in general. Simultaneous fluctuations of composition and structure. Not sure reliance on fluctuations is appropriate in displosive transformations. I hope no one can hear me talking to myself. Hang on, it is obvious. The dissociation of dislocations locally creates a new structure. And that does not require diffusion. I think this may be a eureka moment. But it is so difficult to actually observe nucleation. I wonder how we can distinguish these mechanisms. The activation energy associated with nucleation by fluctuations depends on the inverse square or cube of the driving force. And there is an additional activation energy for the random transfer of atoms across the interface. With dislocation dissociation, the activation energy is simply that for the defect to glide from one equilibrium position to the other. Here it will vary linearly with driving force. Must go home now. A nice microwave meal waiting.